Oracle is a very popular database that we use in Blue Sky Integration Studio at a lot of different clients and a lot of different projects. So I thought it would be good to take a minute and talk about how do we use the Oracle bulk loader in Blue Sky Integration Studio. Uh, it's, you know, it's a little bit uh, different than some of the other objects, so I thought it would be worth covering it. So I'm going to create a new job here. Uh, it's going to be an ETL job. And basically what I'm going to kind of do and demonstrate here is I have a text file out here. It's just called 1 million rows. And it's basically, uh, you know, kind of a text file that's tab delimited. And it's got a million rows in it. And it's just for, for demo purposes, we'll kind of load this thing up into Oracle using the bulk loader. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to pull over my uh, text object because I'm going to be loading this text file. I need a transformation object, and then of course I'm going to use the Oracle bulk loader object. All right, so I'm going to connect these guys up, and let's get my text file all hooked up here. We'll use the text wizard, and I'll go ahead and read that file in. So that's in my biz directory here, and I know that this is a, it's got the first row column headers, and it's a tab delimited file, and I'll just kind of load up a sample here. Just see how it looks. Okay, it looks good. I'll say OK. And then I'll kind of tweak out my sizes here a little bit. Looks like we got uh, some dollars and some sales units and a date in here. Okay. Now I'm going to jump over to SQL bulk load or SQL developer here and I've created a table in the Oracle database uh, called sales data that just sort of matches the column layout for you know this text file that I want to load. So I went ahead and created this table and now what I'm going to do is kind of pull that table into Blue Sky Integration Studio and I'm going to use the database import wizard to do that. So with Oracle I typically use the OLADB object And then I'm going to pick the uh, Oracle provider for OLADB. So this is the OLADB driver that Oracle actually provides. And my Oracle uh, SID is uh, ORADB. And my username and password I'll put in here. There's no such thing as a catalog in Oracle. And then um, as far as filtering is concerned, I'll just uh, put a star here. You don't hit your core, you can just leave it blank. But watch what happens when I click Next, related to, and this is pretty specific to Oracle. You'll notice that you get a, a list count of about 13,000 tables out of the box with Oracle. And it's just all of their, you know, for all of their different products and metadata and, you know, everything that they use, their DBA tables and views and, and all that kind of stuff, 13,000 tables it has to pull in. A little bit, you know, crazy. So... Uh, a good idea, especially if you're you know, working over a wide area network, is to put a filter in at this level. And you usually want to filter down by the schema that you're looking for. So my schema, I created my table under the schema of DM admin. So I'll say, I'll, I'll filter this by DM admin star. And what that's going to do now is, first of all, I'll get the list a whole lot faster. And secondly, I'm only going to get the tables that are in that schema. So it greatly filters down this list. I don't have to scroll through 13,000 tables to go find my, my the table that I'm looking for. So I'm going to say on OK and finish on this guy and pull in the column layout. OK. And then I'll say OK here. And then let's jump over to the properties for a minute. OK, so there's a few things with the uh, Oracle bulk loader uh, to understand. So first of all you have the append or truncate or replace and you have to figure out you know or decide how you want to load up or bulk load your data. I'm going to go ahead and truncate it so that's it's going to truncate the table first and then load the data. Okay the date mask is also another important one and what that is is that's going to match your NLS date format in Oracle. So that's pretty important because otherwise you have to take you have to format your date 
to match what Oracle is expecting in the uh, in the in the bulk loader file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, swap this out and we're going to change it to dd mon dash yyyy. So I can tell the bulk loader here's how you should expect the date. Here's how I'm going to send it to you. Okay. And then with every bulk loader, you're going to have um, a command, and you're also going to have the table name that you're going to load into, and you're also going to have a control file. Okay. So the table name that we want to load into is called sales data, and that is the table that I created in the database. And then the uh, control file name is we're going to enter a, we're going to enter a path and file name here to the control file that Biz is going to create for us. So it basically is saying, where do you want me to create this control file for you? So I've created a folder out here uh, just called Biz, and that's where I stuck my one million rows.txt file. So we'll stick it in here and we'll just call it the same thing, 1 million rows.ctl for control file. So I'll go ahead and put in my cbiz uh, 1 million rows.ctl for control. Okay. So the other thing that you need to do is you need to tell Blue Sky Integration Studio how to run the bulk loader <clears throat> because it doesn't know, you know where you're Oracle Home is, it doesn't know where uh, SQL Loader is and all that kind of stuff, and it wants to know about the commands that you need to run to run to actually shell out and call the Oracle bulk loader. So if you look at the help file in uh, Blue Sky Integration Studio and under task base help and Oracle specific, and then there's an entry in there called using the bulk loader. It'll give you a really good description of how the how exactly the bulk loader works in Biz, and it also gives you uh, a nice sample of the of the command that you need to call the Oracle SQL loader. Okay, so I'm going to walk through this just step by step uh, and to create this command file. I, I like to do it in a batch file, so it's it's just easier to create. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, text document here. And I'm just going to call this uh, run one million rows. And this is going to be a batch file. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find my SQL loader. I need to understand like where that is. And this, is, this isn't going to be on your local machine, but this is actually going to be on the Biz server itself. You're going to have to have the Oracle client installed on the Biz server so that you can so that it can shell out to it and call the bulk loader. Okay, so I'm, in this case uh, I have Oracle installed on my local machine. So I'm going to go down to my Oracle folder here and just kind of drill down into the Oracle home and find my bin folder here. And then I'm going to scroll down and find my SQL loader and it's right there. So SQL loader.exe. So you'll notice I'm in the Oracle home and I just sort of drill down into my home directory into the bin and it's, it's typically in there, SQL loader.exe. So I'm going to copy this path out and paste that in there. And there's my SQL loader command. Okay, so the next thing I need is I need to tell the command how to connect to the database uh, and then, you know, about my control file and stuff. So some of the commands are I need to set my user ID. That's going to be equal to my DM admin, uh, my password, and my uh, SID is AuraDB. My control file is in that biz folder. And remember, I named it 1 million rows.ctl and that matches in biz here 1 million rows.ctl okay so that's my control file 
And then I need to tell it, you know what, if there's, if there's bad data or, you know, where I want you to log, those are some other entries that I can put in here on the command line, uh, which is kind of nice. So I can say uh, the bad file is going to be C is, and I'll just call all these the same thing, 1 million rows dot bad. And then my log file, I'll say log equals C is 1 million rows dot log. Okay, and then uh, the other commands that I want to put in here are that I want to run this uh, load direct. And I also want to limit my errors to, say, a million. Okay, and that's it. So that, so that is basically the command line to call SQL Loader and tell it to load the control file. So once Biz finishes loading, once it reads the record from here and writes it out to the control file here, then Biz will come out here and shell out and call this batch file right here to actually instantiate the Oracle SQL bulk loader, which will then load that control file and bulk load the data into the database. So our command is going to be this one run one million rows dot bat, and that's the command I want to run after the bulk load, you know, to kick off the bulk loader. So that's going to be my c biz one million rows. Uh, actually, it's called run one million rows dot bat. Okay. So I think we got everything in here now. The only thing um, that we haven't done yet is sort of map our fields over. So I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead and rename this guy, kind of clean this up. We'll call this sales data. And we'll call this one our bulk loader, bulk load file or something like that. And then if I go into the transformation object, I need to map these fields over one by one over into the database. So I'm saying item number matches the item number, store number is going to map to the store name field, and date code to date code. Okay. So the other thing that, that we need to do, and kind of a final step in this, is remember on the Oracle object we said here's how you're going to expect the date. Okay. So if I go out and I look at that text file, that we want to load up. You'll notice that the date in the text file is formatted as month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Okay. We need to convert that and reformat it to match the Oracle date that we want to use of DD, MON, YYYY. So how do I take, I need to take that date and kind of reformat it into a different type of format. So that's just a little bit of code that we need to put over here into the um, transformation. And this is a great example of transforming data on the fly. Um, I'm just going to go into the date code field here and go to the code behind window. And I'm just going to get rid of that code there. And then I'm going to start writing, you know, a little bit of code here. So I need to... Uh, create a variable uh, as date time and I want a variable for my formatted date <clears throat> okay so the first thing I'm going to do is pull in the original date code that's coming in from the text file I want to pull that into a date time variable and then I'm going to simply reformat it to a different type of format so D is the date time variable that I that I used, and then I'm just going to give it the format specifier and say, you know what, take this date and reformat it into this particular format. And then the other thing with Oracle is, is it likes likes everything in uppercase. So I'm going to take that date and I'm going to, you know, convert it to uppercase. And then I'm going to return it, and that's going to that is what is going to get written to the database. 
So if we understand what's coming in here, we're basically taking like 01, 02, 2015, and we're converting it to um, 02, Jan, 2015. Okay, so that's basically what that's doing there. So I'm going to say OK. And again, if you kind of click on these guys, you can see the, uh, the window down here. You can quickly see the code behind each one of these things. And then I'm going to uh, compile it. And it's going to ask me to save it, so I'll call this uh, my Oracle Bulk Load Sample. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to come out here and see, run this guy and see uh, see how it does here. So I'll monitor it. And we can see um, through the monitoring window, we'll be able to see how many records per second it's creating that text file. So currently we're at half a million rows about. We're writing about 90,000 rows per second. And now it's finished. So you can see how fast you can load a million rows using the bulk loader into Oracle. So now if I click on this and I look at the log, what we can see that actually that happened is, is that I came down here and I loaded those um, that text file, that control file, and then it came down here and it actually called that batch file, which called Oracle's SQL loader command. Okay. And here is the actual output from that. So it says, one million rows successfully loaded. Um, and it actually ran in 0.93 seconds. So it loaded a million rows in 0.9 seconds. So that's how you use the Oracle Bulk Loader in Blue Sky Integration Studio.